I'm currently deep into eight hour build sessions, updating my Notion dashboards and life management templates at the moment. And do you know what's made the process most enjoyable? The seemingly endless list of new features and updates Notion has been adding to the platform recently. So in this video, I'll show you my favorite new workspace hacks and new Notion features that you should try all bundled into a sneak peek at some of my latest Notion builds coming to the channel soon. So, win-win. Hi everyone, it's Simon. Welcome or welcome back to Better Creating, where I'm collecting ideas, tools, and tech to simplify productivity and creative life. Back to Notion this week, and first up, a simple idea that I wish I'd realized earlier. This is what I like to call the one button inbox. It's my new hack for creating really clean ways of capturing information. The way to do it is you create a linked database view of whatever you want to create an inbox or a capture button for. So I'm now using this for my tasks, my new daily log, my journal, and my knowledge capture database. So create a linked database view, add a gallery view, then delete the original table view. Next, filter the title column to only show empty entries. This then shows you a gallery essentially of nothing but that plus sign. Clicking this takes you straight into a new page that you can then populate and then close, leaving your inbox button view completely clear. Beautiful. You can then add further filters below if you want the inbox to pre-populate certain information, or even better, create database templates that can be selected then from within those new pages. Nice. Oh, and I also have a one button inbox for YouTube. It's thumb shaped, and you know you want to press it. Ah. <laughs> uh, I'm getting worse at this. However, if you like the look of this stuff, make sure to get subscribed if you aren't, as I'll be sharing some big new updates and Notion template tours in the coming weeks that you don't wanna be missing. Here are three great ways I've discovered recently to minimize and simplify views of your databases and dashboards. First, yes, it's finally happened. Checkbox columns can now be condensed right down to a single box width. If you haven't spotted this, it's a great space saving way to clean up your task lists or bullet journals when you just don't need to see the column title. The next one is a super simple but awesome way to better organize something like a task list. Notion's new grouping feature. Grouping a week's view of a task database by date automatically groups entries into toggles titled as today, tomorrow, and the next seven days. I also use this grouping feature to create clean views of things like my knowledge bank. On the subject of toggles, oh, I love a toggle, we've recently seen the addition of toggle headings as well. Finally, we can now create nice hidden sections to dashboards like this, my new favorite project view that I've dropped into mine. And why not try cleaning up your linked database views by labeling master databases with symbols? Right, so pressing the function key in the database title allows you to insert symbols for databases or page titles. Now I love this, for example, for my new daily log view. Rather than seeing the database title on each filtered view I've created, I can clean it up and use headings to make it look a little cleaner. And given the fact that I will rarely need to search for the database outside of Notion, I think it's a really great solution. Next, three ways to open your most important pages quickly. These are some cool new features that have arrived recently. First, use the new open to start feature. I came across this the other day and was really happy to find it. I've always found it a little bit annoying that when I open Notion, it will automatically take me to the last opened page. Well, now you can set the page you want to open every time in the settings. Just go to the settings menu in the sidebar, select my notifications and settings, and then set the open to start section to top page and sidebar. Now you can just move the page you wanna open every time, to the top of your favorites list, and you're set. Next, you should try the database scrolling arrows. These turned up recently. Finally, we can now toggle through database pages using the new up and down arrows in the database page view. So helpful for reading new references, for example, that I've collected in a knowledge bank or reviewing planned content that I'm scripting in my content dashboard. The option does, however, disappear once you open the entry of the page entirely to a full page. Try a deep link bookmark. Thank you very much, Zach, for reaching out after watching my Stream Deck for Notion uh, workpad video and sharing this one. So it turns out if you replace the HTTPS in a Notion share web address with the word Notion, you'll be sent directly to the page in the Notion app on your desktop. 
I'm using it for page buttons on my Stream Deck, and you can even bookmark pages as links wherever you need them to jump straight to them. Well, make sure to check out my Stream Deck video if you haven't seen it for a Notion workpad to speed up your workflow. This one goes out to the writers. Uh, <laughs> I sound like an announcement guy. This one goes out to the writers. Should I do it in that voice? Exciting news at the time of filming this video. Okay, I won't do that, it's awful. Uh, there is exciting news at the time of filming this video. Notion have updated their code to allow us to now select text across blocks as you would in a word processing app. Whilst this sounds simple, it's a huge one for anyone who writes or scripts or does any kind of word processing in Notion or wants to do that. You can now select text and then edit its formatting easily. What's really cool is if you select text again across blocks, you can then drag it and it will move any of those blocks that are involved together. And of course you can cut, copy, paste as you would expect to uh, from your selection. As someone who scripts videos in Notion in my content manager, this is really big news. I want you guys to join in. Make sure you comment below and let all of us know if you found any other hacks, workarounds or features in Notion that we should know about. Roll ups for tracking things. A great way to track and report a range of things in a single day is to first create what I'm calling a daily log. A lot of people have these, they do it. You then create further databases for anything that you want to track. For example, I've linked my journal, my habit tracker, and my new fitness tracker to it. Then I link the databases so that they are relations to the daily log. Then you can go back to the original databases and add a roll up of the daily log to each of those and select count all. There you go, a single place to track things that then automatically creates reports in the source databases. I'll be sharing more on this system and a full tour of my new 2022 Notion Life Management systems coming soon in a matter of weeks on the channel, so make sure to subscribe if you're not. Next, to learn how to organize your tasks and ideas even more effectively in Notion, you should watch this video next or watch this one for three little ideas that can have a massive impact on your life. It would be awesome if you left some comments, amazing if you subscribed, and I'll see you on the next one. I better get back to it. Bye.